Good morning. Hello. Good to have a smile on our face this morning. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God is good. All the time. God is great. All the time. Let him. Let us thank him. Yes, amen. All Each, the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Each and every time. What time is it, baby? It's time for second cup. What a good message, Sam. Keep spreading the word of Jesus Christ. Yes, it is good to get up. Mm -hmm. Let me move just a little bit closer. I can't be okay. too far from you. That's right. Got to touch you. Got to touch you. Got to touch, touch you. We have a, uh, I was thinking last week, you know, and, and thinking of the topic that we need to cover this week, and it just hit me. Your house or mine? Mm -hmm. Your house or mine? You know, and, uh, and, and I probably picked this up really came into focus uh, uh, with Virginia. I, I've heard y'all talk. And she said, we got to get together sometime. Mm -hmm. And uh, she says, your place or mine? Mm -hmm. Or ours? Mm -hmm. That seems to be, you know, your place or ours? Mm -hmm. Well, this week we're going to be talking about your house or mine, but we're going to be talking about it in a spiritual aspect. His place mm -hmm. or ours? Yeah. And the invite that we have talked today, he's inviting us. He meets us where we at. He wants to come into our house to mm -hmm. clean it up, right. to, to, to uh, forgive us of all of our iniquities, as, as the Bible says. He wants, he wants to be a part of our life in our place. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, you mentioned when I mentioned this, you said, well, Christ had no place to lay his head, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, even the foxes have holes, but Christ had no place to, you know, that was here on earth. Right. But when he says, I go away to prepare you a place, mm -hmm. that kind of brings into focus today, do I want my place or do I want his? Mm -hmm. Do I want him reigning in my, am I satisfied with my life as is? Mm -hmm. Am I satisfied with everything that's going on in my life? Am I pleased when I look in the mirror of the things that I've done? Do I like Roger as he is or would I like him to be better? Mm -hmm. The only way that I can be better in this life and especially headed to the uh, new world that we're headed to, the only way that we can be better is to let Christ turn our house over to Christ. Now you say, this is a house. Mm -hmm. This is a, we've heard it, uh, this is a temporary dwelling. Mm -hmm. Temporary. Mm -hmm. And through this temporary dwelling that we live in, are we satisfied with the way that we are letting it go? You know, we drive by, it's, it's sad, and you mentioned this a lot of times, as we travel, you will see, uh, uh, you'll go by a house that the weeds has grown up, you can tell they, and you say, it is so sad that people don't live there no more. Mm -hmm. It is so sad that they've let this place go. Mm -hmm. And, well, that's what happens to our life when we don't have Christ in it. We let it go. Things mm -hmm. start to grow it. Mm -hmm. In the scripture today, and it was uh, on a screen there to come up, it's in Luke 7, a very, we sometimes we read the Bible and, I don't know, I, I, this message I got. Yeah, sometimes we gloss over. We gloss over it. Mm -hmm. And I want you to read it. It's, it's, a, it's a 37 through, what did I tell you it was? 37 through 40 something other or, or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. But I have it open here. But I want you to read it. Now, let me set the stage. There was a, uh, there was a guy, a Pharisee, the Bible called him, but it's Simon, named Simon. And it wasn't Simon Peter, but it's Simon. And he'd invited Christ to his house. Now, remember in those days, and even it's customary today, that you entertain or you make accommodations if you invite somebody over to come into your house. You, you make offer, them welcome. You make them welcome. That's a good mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. This guy had invited uh, Christ over to come into his house, but that was it. Mm -hmm. And there was a lady that heard that Christ was here, and she came in, and this is where, that, and you've heard this scripture, um, 
that that you know when she anointed his feet with the alabaster of oil that and it says it could have costed up to a year's wages but i want you to read it we're going into the spiritual aspect your house or mine and it's going to explain what christ how christ looks at this there was then one of the pharisees asked him to eat with him and he went to the pharisee's house and sat down to eat and behold a woman in the city who was a sinner when she knew that Jesus sat at the table of the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of fragrant oil and stood at his feet behind him weeping. And she began to wash his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. And she kissed his feet and anointed them with the fragrant oil. Now listen, this part's coming up now. It's going to switch, uh, switch right here just a little bit. And when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he spoke to himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would know who and what manner of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. So he said, Teacher, say it. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50 and when they had nothing with which to repay he freely forgave them both tell me therefore which of them will he love the more simon answered and said well i suppose the one to whom he forgave more and jesus said to him you have rightly judged then he turned to the woman and said to simon do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore, I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. And then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. And those who sat at the table with him began to say to themselves, who is this who even forgives sin? And then he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Oh, what a, what a, what a word to wind up on there. Go in peace. Now, your house or mine. Sometimes, and and we're talking spiritually here. Sometimes we we go to the altar or we ask, and especially if we have a need. And in this case, I think it was more of uh, 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 to have a great person to come into the home, and he wasn't willing yet to do the customary We're talking thing. about Simon here. We're talking about Simon mm -hmm. here. He wasn't willing to do, he wasn't willing to turn his house over to the guests. Well, the one thing we need to remember in those times, people walked everywhere. Yes. And they had sandals on their feet so that when you invited someone into your house, uh -huh. they took their shoes off and you washed their feet to get the dust mm -hmm. or either you gave them water and you greeted and a them towel. With, a, with a holy with kiss. With a holy a kiss, kiss, exactly. And then you anointed them. Jesus says, Simon, you did none of this to you me. Did. All you done was invite mm -hmm. me here. Exactly. All you, All you and done. I think sometimes that's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's sad to say, but in our ministry over the years, we've seen people come and, and really, I think sincerely wanted Christ to come into their hearts and into their lives. They wanted them, uh, for the, the today's topic, wanted them in their house, mm -hmm. in this temple. Yeah. But they were not willing to turn their lives over to him. Mm -hmm. the, you know, to, to let Christ work in their lives. Mm -hmm. And Christ noticed that. He noticed that. And in fact, when he went down through there, there was people that uh, because Christ was there, Christ comes where, I mean, people come where Christ is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so people came in and, and but... There's another thing that I noticed in this also. The Pharisee, Simon, was judgmental. Sure. He was very judgmental. Mm -hmm. There came a woman in with a broken heart 
a broken spirit. She was a sinner. She was a sinner. According to Simon. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she, the, the, when she saw Christ, the invite, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit invites us to come to Christ, to mm -hmm. totally surrender. Yeah. She fell down at Christ's feet mm -hmm. and started, took the, the most expensive thing she had mm -hmm. and put it on his feet. Mm -hmm. And, and then washed his feet with her tears. Washed his feet with her tears. And, and I mean, that was humility. Not mm -hmm. only was that humility, she was, she was submitting her house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she even dried his feet with her hair. With her hair. And that was a woman's glory back then. That was their crown of glory was their hair. Uh -huh. And so she took her hair down. And washed, wiped his feet with her hair because she had nothing else to wipe with. Well, you and think that, about and that, that the way we come to Christ uh -huh, now? We yeah. have nothing. Right. But what? Ourselves. Mm -hmm. And whatever we have within ourselves, we need to give it to Christ. Mm -hmm. Simon didn't do that. No. Simon mm -hmm. didn't do that. And in mm -hmm. fact, being so judgmental, uh, sometimes people look at other people. Well, I'm not as bad a Christian as, I mean, I'm not as bad a sinner as they are. Mm -hmm. Boy, let your light shine before men. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be a Christian. Yeah, the Bible says judge not lest you be judged. Lest you be judged. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what happened mm -hmm. here. Whose house? His or mine? Mm -hmm. Whose house? Yours or mine? Mm -hmm. Which is better? God's house. <laughs> Any day. Mm -hmm. the, the one thing about... God, when he comes in, he cleans up what is the house that we give him to reside in. He cleans it up. Yes. It's up to us to keep it clean and swept out and yes. filled with the Holy Spirit. It's yes. up to us to do the work. And by that, I don't mean harsh labor. What I mean is we go daily and we read his word. Mm -hmm. We seek his face daily. We pray. We, we pray. commune with him. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Talk with him. And that's what keeps our house clean and orderly. Because if we talk to him and we ask him to show us what might be wrong in our lives, he's going to. Mm -hmm. He sees the sincerity of our heart. He knows exactly what we say to him. You can't hide anything from God. He knows what's happening in your life. And if you ask him daily, Lord, keep me clean. Keep me pure. Mm -hmm. Give me a place where you will be happy to reside in. He's going to do that. And he goes uh, uh, back up right here to this verse right here, number 44. Now, this, this right here I take very personally because Christ sees what I do every day, mm -hmm. every moment, in every way. Mm -hmm. He sees what you do. Christ mm -hmm. sees what you do. Mm -hmm. He knows if we are in total surrender to him, and he knows what we are holding back. Mm -hmm. And when this woman did what she did, and Simon in his judgmental spirit said what he said, look what Christ saw. He says, Christ saw, and look, uh, then he turned. Do you see this woman? I entered you hi your house, and you gave me no water for my feet. Mm -hmm. But she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. Mm -hmm. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. Oh. For she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. When I stand before Christ on that day, when I stand before him, there's going to be a time of when Christ judges us, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I won't have the opportunity to say, well, look, we was on second cup. Mm -hmm. we, we helped people in the ministry. We prayed for people. He said, yes, but your house was not my house. Mm -hmm. You did not surrender all. Mm -hmm. And this, and he'll start naming off the things that are in our lives that we haven't totally 
surrender. Mm -hmm. And he goes on to say, he goes on, let me uh, just, just do that. And, and uh, he comes on to say, he said unto her, and look, look what a total surrender is. Your house or mine. She was not in this earthly place. She was not even in her own house. She mm -hmm. was in somebody else's house. But that ain't what, that's not what it's referring to. He's referring to our spiritual. Look what happened to her. He told her. Your sins are forgiven. Your faith has, has saved, saved you. you. And look at the last word he says. Go in peace. Go in peace. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Go in peace. And that kind of gives us a, a overview. Your house or mine. Ask yourself that question all day today, just at different times. God, your house or mine? Which is better? Then ask yourself, am I pleased with what's going on in my house? Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about these four walls that are right. clay and brick and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about my life, mm -hmm. your life. You should ask that about your life. Mm -hmm. And God, am I pleased? Even more than that. God, are you pleased? That is a wonderful... God, are you pleased, pleased. with... Uh -huh. Once you convict me, the invite. Uh -huh. yeah. The invite goes in next. Uh, the, he says he sends the Holy Spirit to correct us. Yes. So the invite is huge. Mm -hmm. He's inviting us. He's inviting you mm -hmm. to take a look at our lives. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the next uh, two sessions of this, Susie has made, got pages of notes that we'll be going into. And we'll be going in, into the notes Wednesday and then sum it up on Friday morning. But this week, this topic, today is the invite to look at our lives, to look at the things in our lives. Mm -hmm. God, are you pleased with this? Yes. You see he saw Simon's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing is hid from God. Nothing, nothing is hid from God. Mm -mm, nothing. Yeah. It's a, this has been, uh, it, it's been a, uh, and I've read this word over a sobering moment. A mm -hmm. sobering moment doesn't mean I was drunk, <laughs> but it means mm -hmm. a sobering moment is I paid attention. Yes. I paid attention. Mm hmm and that's what that's what this week is about pay attention suicide mm -hmm. this sum us up in prayer yes father god we just thank you right now we praise you that you are a friend to sinners and lord we've all been sinners father saved by your grace and i'm so thankful for that lord now I pray right now for each and every person that may be watching that may be listening god yes lord that they will look inside themselves and see, Lord, are you pleased with my life? And Father, if not, show me what you're not pleased with. Show yes. me how I can improve, God, to be that person that you Clean want me up, to Lord. be, Father. Lord, I ask for strength this day, God, because you know what is going to come my way. There are those that are facing tests today, Father. There are those that will walk into a place, God, that will not be nice to them, Lord. But we pray, Father, that with your grace in their lives, God, they will be nice to them people, Father. We believe that, God, and we are standing and believing and trusting in you, Jesus, to be able to do that. Lord, for those that may be headed to the doctor's office, to the hospital, Father, for those Wherever. that are in the hospital, we ask, Lord, that your healing hand would be upon them that you would get the doctor's strength and wisdom and knowledge to know, Father, how to treat what might be wrong. God, we give you glory, Jesus, for opening our eyes as we look to ourselves, Father, and see the things that may cause you grief or pain. And Father, that's one thing that we do not want to do, Lord. Never do we want to cause you grief and pain. But Father, we want you to look down upon yes. us and say, I'm pleased with you this day, Father, and we're asking, Lord, for that. We're asking for your approval on our lives, Father. Every step today, we ask that it be directed of you. Lord, we ask for every person that we meet, God, that it be a divine appointment with you, Lord, and divine we will share your love, your grace, and your mercy just as you show it with us. Father, we just pray that you would walk with us, your hand would be upon us, Lord, and once again, we would share you 
with those that we come in contact with. In your precious name, we do pray. Amen and amen. Pray for our nation. Yes. Pray for the leaders of our nation. Mm -hmm. Everything that is, happens around us affects us. Yes. But David says, I have not seen his seed begging for bread. Mm -hmm. He That's will right. constantly watch over you. Pray yes. for our military. Mm -hmm. Pray for our policemen. Pray yes. for the health care workers, regardless mm -hmm. of what division that takes care of us in the health care departments. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your family, mm -hmm. our family, we are family. Yes, we are. We got so much to pray about. But I think, I tell you, I tell you what, and all you guys and, and ladies that are putting things up here, just spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. I yes. love you, Jesus and Sam. <laughs> I thank God for you both. We thank God for every one of you. Yes. Well, it's together that we make it. Together mm -hmm. that we make it. Yes. Well, Suze, this has been today. Today. Your house or mine. Your house or mine. The Holy Spirit is inviting us to his house. To be his house. His <laughs> house. Oh, we will see you when, Suze. Wednesday. We love you. Wednesday. Bye.